and don't move, no smell. The new newborn baby, that one way they protect is no smell, no odor. So this, the lion cannot smell and it's lying there like a piece of stone. No smell, no odor. Oh, if there's no order, then there's no taste. <laughs> what makes champagne very really tasty? First you smell it. What makes hot dogs happy, happy? <laughs> you smell it. And uh, so there's no smell, no taste. You don't want to eat your food without smelling, you do not. It, so taste, smell, all, same way with us. So they stop everything. So the dear baby, little life is passing by, and there's a meal next to it. <laughs> but uh, a nice sweet, uh, a hot dog there. <laughs> but uh, you cannot even see, feel it, no smell it, just uh, I am state. It's like the dear baby. It pretends it doesn't exist. Few years ago, I was in a cave, in the Himalayas, the Gangoti, where they got gangrene, etc. My companion was in the cave, in the wind of snow, there's nobody there, miles away, won't find anybody. And my companion in the cave was a rat. He used to come and try to cut my hair <laughs> at night. I said, No, get away, I don't want to get hair cut. He said, You need a hair cut. He used I need a hair cut. <laughs> And, uh, and then he will stay while he will come. He was looking for a couple of things are there, you know, if I keep my, uh, some, really, uh, something food, uh, like lint, <coughs> sweet or something, you know, the sugar, uh, jaggery, you call it, so they will keep, so pure sugar cane, something just to give some energy. That's all, sometimes I don't even need to eat, I, can't, I don't even know how to boil the potato, you know. <laughs> See? And uh, it is covered, and the, the rat will, you know, he can smell it. Mm, that's something. And then uh, he'll make some noise. I said, Come on, get out, get out. And, uh, and he'll come and make sure that I'm sleeping. Because then he, he knows that he can look everywhere, you see. First he'll come. He climb over my hair. I pretend I'm sleeping. I want to see what he will do. And slowly he came from the hair in the nostril. See whether I'm breathing. <laughs> I pretend I am not breathing. I do from my mouth. <laughs> and then slowly, now he knows he am sleeping definitely. He can't see a breath, may, no motion. He climb over the pin and try to open it up. And I hear the sound. More plastic, like <laughs> <laughs> And he run away, he runs to the corner. And then he pretend he doesn't exist. <laughs> I come very close. He just sit like a statue. <laughs> There. <laughs> I come very close, <laughs> closer and closer. He will still he won't move. <laughs> he said, I'm not here. <laughs> I would believe in that. So, all right. So I come back, very close, closer and closer. And within two, maybe an inch or so, suddenly he take life and the statue changed even suddenly it disappeared to a to us rock, solid rock. My God, it's Siddha. We <laughs> <laughs> must have learned Siddha. Must have Shakti Bhada, we must have know all the technique of how to go through the wall to rock, solid rock. No way, it's gone, it's just disappeared. I'm flabbergasted, my God, it really is a Siddha, it's a powerful yogi, maybe hiding in the form of a rat. <laughs> Then again, 
There's nothing, they said, oh, solid, solid rock. There's no, not even a small gap there, you know. It's just gone from that solid rock. Sleep. Suddenly, he comes back, start all over again. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> this went on several days, this <laughs> night, you know. I had to. This, I couldn't find where the rat, where the hole is, where he's hiding, or where he's appearing, is the Siddha or the Yogi or what? Who is <laughs> One day, I heard a sound, a small rattling of a piece of a small piece of paper, a rat paper, uh, and uh, it might have some sweet or something smelly, you know. So I left it there. And uh, suddenly I heard, He's taking the wrap, wrapping paper. Oh, now he, that's why, one mistake he made. This is, this is the first time he made a mistake. <laughs> 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 and suddenly, I saw the rat, and I saw the rat, he took the rat in. But both the rat and the, and the rat were both disappeared. My God, it's not only he's able to disappear, he's made the wrapping paper disappear. <laughs> but the mistake he made is, he's very, very clever. But he took the wrapping paper to his nest, because cold, you know, he wants some warm paper to lie down. But the cold must be very, was very small. So he pulled the big paper into that, <laughs> he made a noise. And stuck the paper stuck there. Uh, so the trick he was using is Satisa Baba's trick. All magicians, you know. They will sweat three faster, you cannot see it, you know. Your bullet passes by, you don't see. It. Because everything goes beyond one sixteenth of a second, your eyes cannot see. That's what all magicians do. You throw a coin from right hand to left hand, and if you throw faster, they learn. All magicians, including Satisa Baba, they all magic magicians. First they throw a coin, a silver coin, you can take it, slow, you can see more moving. And they practice this hours, just like Shambhu is practicing Sita. They practice this. How many hours you practice? Ten to two hours. Ten to two hours. And this magician they practice. Eight hours throwing. First slowly. Three miles an hour. <laughs> then ten miles an hour. And then you started also, you did not start up. Uh, Just uh, one, one, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then after. <laughs> 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 Same thing, exactly. This they were. see the motion of the, if they very fast play, they cannot see that. Same thing, violent, all those things. And then, to so fast they do, and then they learn, throw this way. So you don't see, and throw that way. And uh, then you say the hand is going up, but actually the hand is going this way. <laughs> you say the motion of the hand that way, but actually it goes this way. So they practice hours and hours and hours. <coughs> <laughs> and now, suddenly they can produce their watch. Because <laughs> actually, the watch in the right hand, suddenly is going to the left hand. Left hand is going to the right hand. Because your eyes can't see it so fast. So many. Uh, uh, Anand Magician I brought from India, Mahathur, is a very topmost magician. And uh, Sadhguru Sarvabha gave holy ash. And he also gave holy ash immediately from nowhere. Oh, he's a magician. You are a super, you are a simple magician. You don't know. I can catch you what you're doing. You can't catch you what I'm doing. And uh, he took a glass templar, uh, a glass, um, and he uh, put the hands at the top, put a coin on the top, and he hits, and you can see the coin goes through that solid hand into that hole. Wow. 
because I won't tell them. In, anyhow, he said, oh, you are an honorary magician. I know I'm a super magician. What I can, you, I tried, you can never catch me. I know how you, are, how you are doing those tricks. So anyhow, I know that. And this rat, the cave rat, was doing the same trick on me all the time. He is trying to run away so fast. He would pretend he is not there, and then he runs so fast, so I don't know where he has gone. Only one I, once I caught only because he tried to get that black pepper through a big hole. He was not successful then. <laughs> so, this world is nothing but an illusion created by your wrong sight. Eyes, ears, nose, all fools you. You think if we go a little faster, oh, he's a